Dry brushing is something that's quick and easy to do, but it has great benefits that are going to benefit you all day long. So a few months ago, I went to have my legs waxed and I went to a great place called Soyola here in Indianapolis and I'll link the information below and the owner who was also the person that waxed me, she recommended that I start dry brushing to help with making the the hair follicles that had darkened and I had some ingrown hairs on the back of my legs. She suggested that I try dry brushing. So I did some research and I got some of the tools she suggested. So here's one of the dry brushes, but I thought you guys might like to know what I've learned. I try to do this every day or at least every other day. I've been doing this maybe the last two weeks. So I have seen some brightness in my skin, which I like a lot. And it's self-care for me. And it's a quick, so if you're gonna try this or any other um, health-related um, regimen, please consult your doctor, because I am not a doctor. I'm not an expert in by any stretch. I'm just somebody that wants to be mindful and active about my health and well-being. So hope you enjoy this video, watch till the end, and subscribe to the channel. <music> is circulation. Now increased circulation, blood flow to all your muscles, all different parts of your body is really important for recovery. So when you're getting that workout in, you're absolutely feeling so sore afterwards. Dry brushing actually helps bring blood back to those muscles and restore them so that you can work out faster and get faster results. And from the distal. So you're not trying to dig because we're not breaking up fascia or anything. We're just kind of stimulating that superficial vessels and getting blood to kind of come to the surface so that when we start to move and sweat and we can kind of get things moving a little bit more. It doesn't have to be very long. It's, it's a really light kind of touch. So Fall in love with dry brushing your skin. The simplest way to support your skin is dry brushing before you shower. So if you take a soft natural bristle brush and gently scrub yourself starting at your ankles and your feet when you do short strokes it releases dead skin cells and that helps to unclog any pores and it also helps with circulation and it gives your lymphatic system a boost now your lymphatic system is constantly taking toxins and unwanted substances from the body and it filters them out of your blood and so that encourages the overall flow of your lymph lymphocytes throughout the body to promote swift and gratifying detoxification now try making dry brushing your skin part of your daily routine just try it for a week it just takes a few minutes a day. So when you get in the shower, before you turn on the water, just brush your skin. So starting from your feet, short strokes, six or seven passes over the skin. So over your feet, from your ankle to your knee, the front of your legs, your quads, your hamstrings, across the buttocks, across your stomach, short strokes from your hands up to your wrist and then your wrist up to your elbow your elbow up to your shoulders around your neck across your back so all of the motions that you do try to brush towards your heart so after a short time just Try it for a week. You will see a difference in your skin. Now it's good to keep in mind that if you're gonna do your face, use a different brush because this is helping you shed dead skin. I'm stirring. 
Or what also be another great idea is getting a makeup brush mat. That will work really well to help get rid of some of the excess dirt or oils or even dead skin cells from the brush. So what I'm gonna do is you're gonna take that bowl of water and you're gonna empty it out. And then you're gonna refill the bowl with clean water. And you'll use that to help rinse off all the extra soap from your brush. You're welcome to rinse and repeat that a couple times if you feel like you need to until you feel like all the soap is gone from your water and your brush. Then when you're done, you can take your dry brush and lay it face down on your towel so that the water runs off the dry brush down towards the towel and it stays away from the wood area. I'll typically leave my dry brush there overnight to make sure that it is fully dry. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe.